Hey guys, how are you? This is uh, JP, uh, Matt JP Phillips. Um, this is uh, basically an update on what's going on in Manchester, New Hampshire. Um, there's a, a ton of stuff, ton of stuff going on. I don't know if uh, uh, we've been getting a lot of viewers uh, trying to figure out, you know, which which stories which, but there's like several videos. Um, so I'm making this video to try to help everybody out and update. Uh, but first of all, I want to um, congratulate Andrea Wells um, for being the new member of New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock. Um, she's been doing a great job on uh, on posting on the Facebook page and the .org. Uh, and I just want to say thank thank you to her and uh, Jessica Phillips, um, who uh, you never see, but she works in the back line. She does. Uh, all the you know helps out with the marketing and and getting us supplies and she she got us this place so um, this is the uh, the New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock Media Center it's where I have my bike set up and our radios all our propaganda and uh, um, don't take a plea flyers and the warning flyers and uh, and stuff like that she she helps out with that stuff and uh, the big person with the marketing for the YouTube channel is Ethan Glover. Um, you probably heard him once in a while, but he's usually the one driving on the four-way uh, um, videos that you see. Um, so I just want to say thanks to Ethan for all his work and uh, helping us out with everything. Um, basically, I want to catch up, everybody. I don't know if you know, but uh, back in uh, April, uh, early April, uh, Manchester PD, specifically an officer named named Finn, I guess he was a training officer, went up to Andrea Wells and she took, um, he took her phone uh, while she was recording an arrest on a guy named Angel Ramos um, over near Cedar Street and Beach Streets over in uh, Manchester. I might got the, one of the streets wrong, but I know Cedar had something to do with it. Well anyways, she was videotaping an interaction with the police and the cop came over and said she needed to give, give him the camera. That's a no-no. Um, in fact, she said, I don't need to give you my camera, and he took the phone. Not only was all the things deleted in it, but it looks like they act, took all her contacts, everything, and it took like three to four, maybe five days for her to get that, that phone returned to her. Um, they threatened her with arrest and, and threatened to charge her for obstruction of justice if she didn't hand over her phone. Um, so we filed a complaint, and on the way, to talk to one of their uh, county attorneys named, uh, um, shit, I forgot the guy's name, um, because it was like three months ago and the meeting never happened. We came across uh, four Manchester officers unmarked and in plain clothes. That video is posted. Um, I think it's got like something like 25,000 views. Um, and I flipped them off and did my vulgarity because they're assholes and they weren't identifying themselves. Um, one of the my biggest pet peeves is secret police because they uh, they lie for a living. Um, they lie, extort, and and they thrive on deception. Um, and that's how they get you. And if we didn't show up, I wouldn't be surprised if they planted something in that poor guy's car. Well, we have a um, a complaint out and an, and a legal notice to quit. Legal notice to quit was filed. Um, it was filed to all administrative offices on notice, and and it was like an attached complaint. This went out to all department heads of the Manchester Police Department, including the chief. I'm trying to find the date here. I have no idea why the date is not here. Um, anyways, it's probably on this. Um, these are the receipts of the complaint. And we have on video the sit-down of uh, Captain Tessie, and of course, all our viewers, you saw how how idiotic their frame of mind is. They literally think they can take our recording devices, even though um, in the, the case Glick vs. Cuniff in Boston PD, Simon Glick, the Simon Glick case that, that uh, went to the First Circuit U.S. Court of Appeals, uh, they can't, they cannot in any means, way, shape, or form, stop you from recording. Not even invoking a law. They cannot stop you from recording. And you can find that on New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock 
www.ghostsofthedeep.org and we actually have case law that backs up everything that we do. Uh, we love shoving that into the police faces because they really have no idea what the law is. They really don't. So on May 5th, 2016, uh, we met with Captain Tessier and uh, it was April 28th um, that we came across those officers and we met with her on May 5th and I gave this legal notice the night before May 5th so it was like May 4th um, when I gave the legal notice to quit basically it's just it's just a very very quick thing saying you know giving them the law and what we're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do and we asked them to stop their illegal actions immediately well come to find out we've been going there every Thursday night for the past maybe four to five weeks. The reason why is because we wanted to expose these badge bullies. And uh, we came across a hot spot on the end of Beach Street um, where uh, Cumberland Farms is on Beach Street. It's a, like a two lane one way and it seems like to that corner it seems to be a massive hot spot. So we, we localized our, uh, our attention on just those four blocks. We can't be in the whole city, just two of us. And we want to be near each other so we can respond to each other's needs if, if need be. Um, so we got to know the locals. We got to know uh, some street walkers. We got to know some, you know, uh, questionable people, um, you know, exercising their rights to free trade. Um, which I think they, they should be uh, they should they should be able to do um, within reason, uh, but political side um, cops have no business being um, nosy of what happens in people's privacy in their homes, and that they, they shouldn't matter because the law does not back it up that they're allowed to know what the hell is going on in your house. The law backs up you need to leave people alone and mind your own damn business. That's what the law, basically the Constitution says, and puts a guideline on the government to stop infringing on people's personal rights to liberty and sovereignty. Uh, but police don't believe that, we all know that. So anyways, back to the story about Manchester PD being corrupt. Um, me, me being the aware person I am, I noticed that undercover cops were using uh, plain vehicles to pull up and wait for street walkers to come up. They'll let them in the car, which is, they're lying about who they are. They're impersonating someone else um, to entrap someone in a crime. Um, they're actually committed a crime because they're actually looking and soliciting um, to, for, for, uh, to get sex. Um, so, and that's a crime, too. So, to them, badges grant extra rights. They're, they're allowed to look for hookers or streetwalkers. Um, and working, working ladies. Anyways, they bring them around the corner. As soon as they make a, a paper exchange with money, with FRNs, all of a sudden the, they they group in and they arrest the, the the poor girl just trying to make a living and trying to get off the streets and make money. Whatever her reason is, it's free trade. Um, so I exposed that, and it was quiet for a couple weeks up until last week and then all hell broke loose we got a, a video of them um, driving by when, when I'm on my bike I mean extremely close proximity blaring that that loud loud cop horn they had and yelling my name out the window and scaring the crap out of me which puts me in danger on the road because this is at night and their mirror is almost hitting me. So that's harassment. They were doing it all night long. Um, there's a couple videos that show on our New Hampshire Regional YouTube channel. It shows you how stupid they are. One of them's like, okay, buddy. And I'm like, dude, my name's JP. My name's not Buddy. As soon as they heard me say, my name's not Buddy, and I wanted them to call me JP, they went into toddler mode. Um, elementary school level mind frame because that's the idiot assholes that they are. Oh, okay, buddy. Okay, we won't call you JP, buddy. Okay, buddy. And they're riding, driving away. Okay, buddy. I have that on video. You can see that on the YouTube channel. 
that's how adolescent pea brains these assholes are. Okay. Um, the, 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 the incident that happened before that is one bike officer named Officer Finley. Um, I mean, not Finley, Healy, sorry. Officer Healy on a, on a bicycle basically uh, called me a kid. I'm older than both of them on the bike. I'm 41 years old. Um, so I'm running along with them for about three blocks, and I confronted them. And I said, so I'm a kid, huh? I'm like, well... My name's JP, you know, I'm 41 years old, I gave him the proper information, I'm like, so I'm not a kid. As soon as they drove away, okay, kid! The, you see how fucking childish these guys are? They're a bunch of freaking idiots in Manchester PD. This is who represents you. This is who you're supposed to trust, okay? My three-year-old son has more smarts than these guys, and more polite and, and more professional than they are. Um, and that's, I'm not even kidding. I'm so irritated with this police department right now. Um, so they violated the notice to quit by harassing me because in the notice to quit it specifically says do not harass any member of New Hampshire Regional Cop Log, which they have twice. Not only did they steal one of our uh, recording devices while recording them, which is a bad no-no on the Glick and, and uh, Carla Gorek versus uh, Weir Police Department, um, and a bunch of other cases that I listed. Um, they were harassing us and bullying us too. So here we are Thursday night This Thursday night which the 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 video was posted the the very night it happened. I came across an undercover cop pulled over a a um, uh, It looked like he was a Hispanic or, or a black descent um, I'm not a I'm not a racist by any means, I look at people as people. I don't care what color they are, so I, I really don't know what he is. I just know he's not white. Um, and he spoke uh, broken English, too. Well, anyways, I was extremely harassed by videotape. And, and mind you, I'm wearing my press pass, and I know a lot of people online, they're like, oh, you're a member of the public, and the public is press. I know the legal phrase of press, okay? Press has been using press badges since the early 40s and there's a reason why because it identifies them of someone trying to get information from a public official rather than someone walking around uh, on the sidewalk even though they have the same amount of rights you do. But when you're identified, um, it, it gives you another legal covering under the freedom of press. Um, so stop hounding us about us uh, forcing the press down cops throats. I will shove every right that I have down the cops' throats. If you want to stick up for the cops, go on Police One website and stop blogging on there and get the fuck off my channel. Um, because these guys are just assholes. I'm clearly marked with New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock, um, and on the back, it has New Hampshire Regional Cop Lock in big bold lettering. Um, we wear these, uh, these, press, these press markers. Uh, these are usually on our back as well, and I got one on my bike. Um, I like these because they got the reflector on it. They're really good at the uh, the um, the DUI checkpoints. These were donated by LRNFM and Free Keen and the Shire Society and um, Robin Hood of Keen. Um, so I think thank um, Ian and all the all the folks and James Cleveland and TJ for helping us out with these in the past. Um, because we've got a few of them. Um, anyways, we were clearly mocked, so they're like, we don't know who you are. They know who I am because they've been yelling my name for the past two weeks out the window of their cruises. And they're updated at, on our presence um, when we're in the area. So this is where it gets juicy. If you watch the video, you'll see that every right that we have ended up being violated. Like all in one sitting. Um, so because they because they violated my legal notice to quit that I sent um, that day, we filed a State of New Hampshire Hillsborough Superior Court Northern District complaint. Um, this is going to be filed Monday morning, ASAP, with an emergency ex parte restraining order. Um, the restraining order is a vague discretionary order, so they're not going to be ordered to stay away from us, but they will be ordered 
um, if, if it gets granted, they're going to be ordered to, um, I'm going to show you what we're asking for. Um, we are asking for the court to restrain the defendant from threatening, harassing, or intimidating or interfering with liberty or the right to record. I don't know if you guys have read the Glit case. It's on our website. Um, but it specifically says that police cannot invoke laws to stop you from recording. Um, and they cannot invoke laws in retaliation to you recording. These cops did that in that situation. Um, it's one of the newer videos. I suggest you, you watch it, share it with your friends, share it with everybody you can because this, is, this behavior cannot stand. Um, I'm not, we're not free status. Free status don't believe in using the state against the state. But New Hampshire Regional Cop Block, me, Ethan, and the rest of the people agree we are going to go after these guys um, and shove the state up their ass. Uh, because if, if nobody's going to protect us, might as well use the court system and legal land to try to do so. And I don't really care what libertarians say and what these free staters say, what these anarchists say and, and volunteers say. Um, I'm volunteering myself to use the state against the state. Um, this lawsuit's pretty lengthy. I'm not going to read everything in it. Um, that would just bore you to death. Um, the legal notice to quit was violated and the submission will be put in with the restraining order and, and the initial complaint. Um, it b basically goes down the line from the very day they took on your Wells' uh, video recording device. Um, basically the first thing that happened in summary is I put the first week of April Manchester um, police training officer Finn took a recording device from an NHRCB editor claiming it was for evidence with the threat of arrest and and it initially stopped the recording fourth um, and they, they only give you a brief summary of what the things are you can actually attach the full complaint with your complaint um, the complaint is a filing for a lawsuit um, on multiple violations second thing that happened is on April 28th on Hookset Road heading into Manchester we came across across a traffic stop by unmarked and four plainclothes officers after noticing cameras they illegally target us to intimidate basically what they did after they cleared the stop they followed us I was asking them their names they refused and then they took pictures of Ethan's um, VIN number stuck their cameras inside our vehicle and started taking pictures of the contents in the vehicle and after we got a 91A request we found out they ran both of our names um, for recording. That's invoking laws to intimidate and invoking laws in order to retaliate, uh, retaliate against somebody re recording. Um, so this happens to be common practice for them. Um, so the fifth, uh, the fifth thing that happened on May 19th, 7 p.m., cruiser number 63434 blared his cruiser blast horn I call it and screamed NHRB NHRCB founder's name Matthew fucking Phillips Bam! at very close proximity to we to my bike to a bicycle on Beach Street causing disruption and almost caused an, an, an accident and that's disorderly conduct by the way um, he basically did it for the sole purse purpose to harass to scare and to intimidate and I put six later at 10 p.m. Two more unidentified officers were asked not to call NH, NHRCB's field respondent JP or Matt Phillips buddy. So the police officers proceeded to call him buddy in a harassment and illegal manner to, to try to intimidate. Two more officers earlier, as seen in the uncut, unedited video, I expressed to Officer Healy not to call me kid. As seen in footage, he proceeded to call me kid and in a harassment manner. All these issues were captured on video. See attached number complaints. Um, and I put request on an ex parte basis a discretionary restraining order against all employees and divisions of the Manchester Police Department to A. Stop illegal use of authority against the recording of any 
police interaction on any member of the clearly marked New Hampshire Regional Cop Block media personnel. B. Stop illegal use of procedure using lookups with NHCIC, NCIC, and DMV or database searches to illegally intimidate any member of New Hampshire Regional Cop Block. Restrain the bullying and harassment and, and order Manchester police officers and employees to stop the illegal behavior defined under Glick vs. Cunniff. Um, the big, big complaint is huge and what, what I'll do is I'll PDF these and I'll put them on uh, New Hampshire Regional Cop Block.org so you can see uh, what's going on. And uh, I'll read you the last page just so you know what the ending is. New Hampshire Superior Court, Hillsborough County, North District. New Hampshire Regional Cop Block vs. Town of Manchester and Manchester Police Department and Officers ATL. Um, we don't have the officers' names yet, but I'm about to add every fucking one of them. These actions are clear violations of a right to record using um, illegal retaliatory actions. In the question of qualified immunity, officers and police are not subject to qualified immunity on already established First Amendment rights defined on the Glick v. Cunniff, U.S. First District. Simon Glick v. Cunniff, Boston Police Department, U.S. 1 First District. Retaliatory prosecution for First Amendment activity, a plaintiff must prove that he, that he or her conduct was constitutionally protected and was a substantial or motivating factor for the retaliatory decision. Powell 391F 3rd District at 17. Quoting um, Mount Healthy 429 U.S. at 287. And that there was no probable cause for the criminal charge. Hartman v. Moore 547 U.S. 250, 265, 66, 2006. Retaliation, retaliation is always reprehensible and regardless of whether the underlying activity is constitutionally protected, it is obviously improper for officers to invoke criminal laws for retaliatory purposes. However, the plaintiff activity must be constitutionally protected in order to bring Section 9, 1983 claim of First Amendment retaliation 8, Glick decision. This is a US, U.S. court decision, and it's reprehensible for the cops to be acting this way. And we listed um, Arizona v. Hicks, um, Garek v. Began, which is a New Hampshire uh, decision, Glick v. Cuniff, um, Berenger v. United States, Hybel v. 6th Judicial District Court of Nevada, and Terry v. Ohio are all the cases that we're backing up our claim on uh, for um, First Amendment rights. So there you have it. Um, there's the full set and an update on the war against Manchester Police Department. Hit a like, subscribe. I hope you guys like our videos and the people that don't, oh well, um, be a slave and let the cops rule your life. I don't give a fuck, do whatever you want to do, you're making a contractual decision for them to ruin your life, steal your property, murder your dogs, bust open your freaking door, get in the wrong house, act like a bunch of SEAL team members walking down Bone, New Hampshire when the, like, there's a population of like a hundred moose and like five people. Um, if you want them rolling down the street with three quarter inch steel tanks um, with wheels with a bunch of guys with M4s and automatic rifles. So be it. If you like that shit, I suggest you move to the West Bank in Israel because that should not happen here. So there you have it. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, check out our videos for tonight. We're going out tonight. We went out last night, so periodically I'm putting up. Yesterday was kind of a slow day, but we were in some towns we'd never been in, so I wanted to post some of those interactions. And um, to the haters, hopefully you come around. And uh, you start seeing uh, the, the bulliness that police have and the way they're trained. They're trained combatively. They're trained to incriminate you. They're trained to lie. They're trained to be soldiers on the street and not peace officers. And they are not community oriented. They are combat oriented. 
and that is a violation of the U.S. Constitution, and they constantly are molding the way to make you weaker and them stronger. Even in the prosecution level, when you're being charged or accused of something, you have very little chance of going against this big entity that has all these resources. Um, so they're making more laws to protect prosecutors and less laws to protect defense. Um, it, it goes up the line from cops, and cops are the very first line and the very, very front line in the war against people's rights, liberty, and freedom. I hope you like, uh, hope you like our channel. Um, props to Ethan Glover, Jessica Phillips, Andrea Wells, and all the other people that's helped us in the past. Um, Ian Freeman. And uh, Dio Odalecki, I'm glad you're home. I'm sorry I haven't called you. I'm sorry I haven't messaged you, but you know, peace, man. I, I love, I love, I love you, man. And I love the meetup that I had out there in Pork Fest last year. We were chilling. Um, uh, you're, you're a dear, you're a dear friend. Um, you're like an uncle. Um, I uh, definitely, I'm glad you're out of, out of the cage. And uh, I hope all your prospects and legal land go well. I want to give a shout out to uh, Demo Freeman as well, and and all the work he's done on the uh, the Do case. Um, I've been following it. Um, there's been a lot going on here, as you can tell in the video. I'll submit the video to you um, so you can see. But I want to give you all you guys props up there and all your endeavors up in Colorado, man. I can't believe you're moving further away. That sucks. Um, but hey, they need cop blockers out there too. They need a badass that knows his rights. That, that's not afraid to get in, into a badge bully's face. Um, fuck them. Um, and maybe we could do a meetup out there in the mountains in, uh, in the Colorado Rockies because I've been wanting to head out there. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I'm glad to uh, see what's going on. And Virgil, man, Virgil, get cell phone one on Windows, man. Get it on a Windows phone. I can't use it. I got a Windows phone. Um, I want to give props to him because um, Cell Phone One's been uh, really, really good for for those folks in Ohio and all that what they're doing out there. Um, it gives another alternative to Bamboozer um, to do live streaming. Um, the only way that that can work is if we get people involved and people that can actually go and and help cop blockers in need. Um, when there's like 25 cops, it's always good to have another camera going. Um, they very rarely dare go after with retaliatory behavior when there's like eight cameras in their face um, because they know they can't destroy them all. They can only destroy one. I suggest a remote hard drive somewhere, um, which that's what we do. We have a backup. Um, I use the, the little Move Eyes on movies. It's M-U-V-I. It's a mini, mini cam. Um, P there. Um, one of the co-founders of coplock.org wears them, and I want to say props to him, and uh, um, I want to uh, thank him for my, you know, sending Dio the letters and uh, keep keeping him updated on on everything. And I'm, I'm glad everything's cool, and I I really hope he gets acquitted. I hope the, his appeals go through. Um, what happened to him up there was really, 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 really sucks. It really fucking sucks bad. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but I only do this two, three days a week. I got my kids most of the week, and I have four stepchildren to boot. So half of the week, there's like six children here. It's like daddy daycare. Um, and my wife does a lot, a lot of work, and she's extremely supportive. I'm out until 3 a.m. Um, neither, neither me and Ethan drink. Um, we don't, we don't uh, smoke green. We don't toke, and we don't smoke cigarettes. So, um, you know, we don't have a whole lot of... Uh, Vices. A Mountain Dew is mine, uh, so I wanted to throw a product placement in there. Um, so I want to thank everybody. Tune in. Peace. We out.